Hello everyone, and today we are going to be making a simple E to pick up tool system. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we have to like find which tool we're gonna use. I'm gonna use one from the toolbox, which will be the flashlight. I click OK. I don't want to do starter pack. Yes. Yeah, so normally you will have now like a tool in your workspace. Yeah. I'm gonna position it like this, this, boom. Yeah. Then duplicate this by pressing Control D, and you have two flashlights. But in one flashlight, you take the handle and put it inside a workspace and delete the one which has no handle inside of this and you will have a tool flashlight and you also have a handle it with the flash inside yeah i'm gonna use it delete everything else only key the mesh part yeah maybe use the flashlight yeah okay now what you can do is we can drag the flashlight tool into our replicated storage this will make it in our like storage yeah i already hide the toolbox then inside of flashlights we're going to add a string value and that's name is to uh tool name yeah I'm going to name it tool name, tool name, yeah, and then set the value to flashlight, yeah. Very important, you have to set this, the same like name as this name, which I will copy. The name is flashlight of our tool, tool name will be flashlight as our thing in our replicated storage, yeah. Make sure this name and the value of this thing is the same, yeah. Then what you're going to do is inside of our flashlight, you're going to add a proximity prompt, yeah. You can change whatever it says, yeah, let's make action text pick up item yeah and maybe object text like flashlight or something yeah? yeah so normally now when we enter the game you will see here uh flashlight pick up item but will not do nothing yeah then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a script inside of our server script service click on the plus get a script now uh, that's remains to like pick up handler or something yeah like this yeah then first of all we're gonna local our replicated storage yeah local replicate storage uh sorry we'll use capitalizations replicated storage which will be our game that'll point get service replicated storage yeah. by the way i'm just gonna write the script after i'm done with the script and show you that it will work explain you everything that the script does yeah so now okay first we have our replicate storage then we're gonna do for underscore comma part in pairs workspace so get descendants do um if part on the if part uh the point is a base part and part the point find first child proximity prompt i hope i spell that correctly proximity wait i'll just copy this and paste out of here yeah i did it correctly and part not pairs but part the point find first child tool name uh wait so i'll make it small for a second then what you're gonna do yeah so tool name is our string value yeah so if this part has a proximity prompt and a tool name that means it is a pick upable tool yeah then what you're gonna do is local our prompt which will be um part the point find first child proximity prompt yeah then we're also gonna local our tool name value which will be our part not pairs part double point find first child uh tool name yeah now what you're gonna do is if our prompt is triggered right equals uh then double point connect function uh player uh, local tool name equals tool name value dot value and then local our tool template equals replicate storage double point find first child uh tool name yeah which because this is has the same name as this yeah now what you're gonna do is if tool name and tool template the point is a tool then what we're gonna do is local tool clone equals tool template the point clone tool clone dot parent will be our player dot back back yeah and then also part the point destroy that it will remove this yeah and then we can also just do like a, a measure so else so if it's not a tool then we can do warn uh tool no point tool name no point two points uh not found in replicated storage yeah so normally now when we play the game and we see the tool here and you pick it up we will have our flashlight in our inventory yeah this is how it works simple you can even add another tool let's make it let's do it very quickly yeah I will go to toolbox, maybe add the knife tool inside of there. Yeah. Let's just see if the knife tool works. Yeah, it works. Let's just use the knife tool then. Yeah. Put our workspace. Uh, where is the knife tool? Oh, well. Yeah. Let's place it here. Uh, duplicate this. Put one knife tool inside our replicate storage. Other one, we're gonna. Oh, damn. We're gonna take the handle, put it inside of here, remove the thing. So we only have this. Actually, the handle. Shame his name is to knife or something. Yeah. Then copy these two things, proximity prompt and tool name from our previous thing. Put inside of our knife. I'm gonna remove 
that's the elder sounds and then tool name changes to knife maybe for some data prompts we can change object text also to knife I like this then also now when we want to pick up our knife pick up knife boom we have our knife we want to pick up our flashlight we press e and we have our flashlight yeah it's as simple as that okay now i'm gonna go over the script yeah so first we have local replicate storage equals game at level point get serious replicate storage yeah this gets a reference to, to replicate storage yeah uh where the tools are stored safely yeah see here the tools are stored safely in every storage yeah then we have for in underscore comma part in pairs workspace you know all that this loops through everything inside of our workspace yeah so let's say we have other parts you see like basically doesn't have proximity prompt and tool name yeah and finds the parts that can be picked up yeah which the parts that can be picked up have a string value called tool name and a proximity prompt yeah um then also we have local prompt, which is this and local tool name value. This stores references to the prompt and the tool name value. Yeah. Then we have prompt that trigger that would connect. So this is uh fires. So this function fires when a player presses E on the prompt. Yeah. Then local tool name. Uh this gets the name of the tool to give from the uh from the string value. Yeah. And then local tool templates. This gets the name of the tool to give to the string value. Yeah. Uh, I mean this looks for the actual tool by the name inside uh, replicate storage. Then we have this thing. If tool name and tool name is a tool, then we're going to clone our tool and put the parent in our backpack. Yeah, this clones the tool and gives it to the player. Yeah, and that part of point destroy removes the pickup part from the world after pickup. So no other players can pick it up. If you want other players to pick up the, 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 the part after somebody else picks it up, let's say I press E. I have a flashlight, but then I can again press E how many times I want and pick up as many flashlights as I want, yeah? But to prevent this, I put in this code, yeah? So now, you can place multiple pickup parts in the world. Each one spawns in the right tool by name. Tools are stored safely in the security in replicated storage, and the system is clean, modular, and scalable, yeah? So even if you want to change some things, you can. It's a simple script, yeah? Uh, if you want a second part of this, uh, let me know in the description below. Then we will add a sound effect or animation when picking it up. Have the tool auto equip after pickup and make pickups respawn after an amount of seconds, yeah. And add a UI notification, like let's say picked up sword, yeah. So if you want like a more satisfying vibe of like when you've picked up any items, then I will make this inside of part two. If you only if you guys want part two, so let me know in the description down below, yeah. Consider subscribing and liking, and also if you have any questions. Make sure to join the, uh, the Discord server in the description down below, okay? I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one.